All right, so you get a call for a six-year-old woman at County Fair who uh, is um, cleaning a chest pain. Sorry, transporting it. Howdy, ma'am. I'm EMT Alden. Okay, I'm out. You can't just walk up to somebody and throw your hands off. <laughs> They're not going to, nobody's going to like that. Huh? Would you do that to me if I was in the, if I was in the, I mean, you didn't know me. If you walk right up and do your hand on me, I would be like, what the hell, dude? All right, so start over again. And this time, I just walked up high. My name is a normal person. EMT Alden. This isn't no joke. We're not joking around. This is, this is pretty serious stuff. So let's just. Don't touch folks like that. I don't like it. All right. Three, two, one, go. Good morning, ma'am. I'm EMT Alden. What's going on today? My chest hurts. It's hard to breathe. All right. What were you doing when you started hurting? Uh, how's your skin look? Pale. Pale. Uh, What's my general impression? Uh, about six year old females uh, sitting in a tripod on a bench at the county fair. Um, looks like she's having some trouble breathing. Her lips are pursed, um, sweaty, pale. Uh, 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 yeah, by what? By herself. By herself. She was one of the Um, do you have any allergies? Aspirin. Aspirin. Uh, do you have any past medical histories? Anything to serve you or anything? I don't know. Past medical. You but smoke? I have, yes. I smoke. Uh, you still smoke? Yes. Okay. I take medicine. What medicine do you take? I take insulin and dementia. Insulin and dementia? Okay. What's the blood sugar? 62. Okay, you got breathing. What's the blood pressure? Uh, 180 over 100. All right, man, I'm going to put this thing on your finger so you can check something about it now. Okay. What's that? Sauce? History of, of emphysema? Yes. Yes. What were you doing when this happened? I was getting funnel cakes. You get funnel cakes? Yeah. Were you walk, walking around all day? I was standing in line. Stand in line. How long have you been here? I don't know. Okay. So we're going to put you on some oxygen and see if that'll help you with the breathing. Okay. <laughs> You raise your head, hands above your head so it hurts. See if it hurts. It hurts. It hurts? Yes. Uh,
the second day of assessment on it. How's your head look? Do I see anything in the chest besides chest rise? Chest? Looks normal. Arms look normal. How about the abdomen? Take your lungs. Yeah. Legs. Legs. Legs, yeah. Feet. Looks a little swollen down there. Full swarm. Okay. So, yeah, put swarm possibly down. Swarm feet. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see the look south on the back. So, we use it. But the pulse off is looking with the new scan on. 91, 92. Man, we're going to switch you something called non regreather. So, it helps get more oxygen. You barely do that. Okay, I was just curious to set up the to really take it for us Usually it's a little harder. Do you want me to listen to Cal? So my field impression is an old lady in her 60s suffering from emphysema. Right. With no, I don't hear it. Don't, I know they used it. I had a chance to tell them that, but we don't say old ladies. We don't say old man. Lady. I'm, I'm almost, I guess I'm old. I'm offended. If somebody says old man, I don't hear it. But an elderly be. lady. <laughs> an elderly person. Yeah. yeah. An elderly Seasons. lady. Okay. And All what's right, your man. field impression again? An elderly it's lady. Nasty. Probably suffering from emphysema. She has history smoking. Okay, emphysema. Okay, I like it. Thank you. Cells wheezing, even with oxygen. This is going to help you breathe better, okay? Have you listened to our lung sounds yet, Oliver? Yourself? Uh, myself, no. Take a listen. We're going to put this over your face, okay? Okay. Let me know if it's not comfortable for you. How's that? It's fine. It's fine? Yeah. Do you know what the hell you're doing? You got it. I'm sure it's like that. Oh, it's cracked. Oh, it's cracked. All the aim you're doing, though? Does she accept an honor breather? So that's this patch. I'm at control. Yeah, this patch. Go on, this patch. Patch, go ahead, part one. That's the SPO2 improved. I'm going to update on the uh, same bail as soon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So short pain it hurts. Uh, Are you gonna something? Yeah, we will. Do another sign of Oh, do you want me to go ahead and call it Yeah. See, see if they have anything. What? Uh, hey, you're still hooking up to FTO2. The pulse is uh, still at 110. FTO2 is still hanging around 92. Do you have any history of heart problems? No. Just emphysema, correct? Anything else? Yeah. What else? I don't know. What's the new blood pressure? Blood pressure is still about the same. Uh, like Joe, uh, we have a 
better ma'am no no it's a little short pain that's a good point i don't i hear i hear one sound man i'm pretty i'm pretty confident on that <laughs> All they need to do is like, yeah, I do. Yeah, I think the right side is a lot more. Yeah, it is. Yellow card, go ahead. Form the like, uh, secondary assessment yeah. everywhere on her. We don't so, know what it is, but it's on the left yeah. side of the patient. So, what do you say about the neck? Do you think about the neck? So, the head and neck. Oh, yeah. 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 What? I said head and neck. No, you said uh, the neck. Yeah, you have uh, some JVD and also trace of deviation. Which side? Which side? You also have trace of deviation. Yeah, it's on the left side. right. The left side is where it's diminished. Wait a minute. It's your the right side. The right side is uh, yeah. Right side is diminished, so it's going to be pushing to the left. So you're going to see the right side is diminished. Right side is a lot louder than the left side. We tried so many times. We yeah. We're talking about your right side. The patient's right. Instead of yours. Yeah. Patient's right side is a lot louder. Did you try to have a I mean, you try to have it kind of the same. No. Okay. Yeah, they're de it's definitely diminished. But then I wouldn't call it absent, but it's definitely diminished. Yeah. 
It doesn't really change the scenario, to be honest. So it's going to the left side. The deviation is going to the left side, right? Control, go ahead. Uh, Take it one more time. I know, have, I know we had you a thousand times. You're going to be much happier now. But you don't. Know, okay. Because it really doesn't really change. It doesn't change, change the scenario. Okay. 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 Uh, like it's There's only an shallow. shallow. It's kind of slightly more. Yeah, it's only, yeah, this has not round shallow. It doesn't change the scenario. It does not. Just say on the right side. Keep rolling. There's any chest rounds on the right side. So, have you, do you think you have all the information out to make a field diagnosis? Probably. All right, what do you got? Elderly woman mm -hmm. in her 60s. Uh, has a history of emphysema. She, she's a smoker. Mm -hmm. uh, she's straight deviation to the left side on her neck. Mm -hmm. And her check, her left, right side is not rising. Okay. So possibly you need to worry about I got you. It could be push on heart cause and lose GMO on the feet. All right, cool. Now I want you to think about a field treatment plan. I'd see how can because see that probably wouldn't be good for me. Okay, I can do that. So we're just wait yeah. till transfer. Okay. So, have, sorry, I stepped out for a minute. Um, have we reassessed yet? We did reassess one time. What was your yeah. bottom on your They reason? stayed about the same, yeah. though. It's okay. going up. The yeah, the only thing was that was changing. Pressure is still kind of high. Yeah. Okay. No, I really it could still, it could still be working on a emo anyway. We had the volume turned all the way down for the mission and just turn it on. Uh, it, it was more so just the OCD emo, like you're saying, well, I heard it. I know, I know, it's all good. All right, so uh, tell me, I can try to come back here. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, I'll start off by saying it was much better. Much, <coughs> much better. Good job. Really. Uh, very calm, very uh, thorough. You, did, you missed a couple things, but that was okay. Uh, your demeanor was much better, much more, much more calm. And so that was good. Um, there, um, so, there, one thing I was thinking of, like, so you have an emphysema patient that's in distress. Um, one thing I like to ask is, because uh, these patients are always in distress, pretty most part, right? I mean, they're always suffering. So you could always say, is, is your breathing much worse today than normal? Right? To give you an idea of what you're dealing with. Um, because they present ugly anyway. I mean, they present like like they're in a bad place when they're not. They're actually not too bad today. You know, at certain times. Uh, thinking about that, um, that's all I have. Um, let's go to uh, you. Tell us what you think. Is that kind of better? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess it was kind of more clear now with the left side not being anything because when we're doing it, it was pretty, there's sound on both sides. There was. It sounded pretty equal. Um, so I really wasn't thinking of a pneumothorax because and then the neck thing. Um, so then once they change it, kind of just put the nail in the coffin right there. Um, emphysema, I kind of focus on that a little bit too much because uh, pretty much all we can do is just oxygen transport that. Well, there, if um, her pressure had been a little lower, um, what could she have done? Probably someone be real, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what's, yeah. 
I mean, let's you can try and see, try to help what you know, help some bronchial dilation out. You know, these patients take a lot of albuterol atrophin, or, yeah, atrophin anyway. But you, you could, you could go that route. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you. Evaluation team, evaluation squad. Talk to us about how he did, how the team performed. Uh, I think he, he was he was a lot better this go around, like you were saying. Um, it's the only thing I would probably just say is that when you can tell times when you got flustered and like when certain things that your teammates were doing and stuff like that, I would just say don't show that as much like in front of the patient or like get upset or anything like that. Just figure out ways to just go ahead and solve the problem and give the patient the treatment that they need and that they're in dire need of. But other than that, I don't know if it was, was there anything that you all did for, um, it can, never mind. Um, yeah, like, like you said, we did that the second time. Just remember, like, everybody don't like to be touched. You know, so, like, that's my take on it. But I do got a question. Can I ask a question? Oh, absolutely. Um, I don't know, I may be wrong, but why, why uh, like, did they do, like, was there anything for the chest pain that you've been done? So, if they determined that it was a cardiac related, they could have, right? They could have, they could get some nitro, some aspirin. Uh, but so since they, they, they asked, right, it's on so, and it hurts, so yeah, since it, it, yeah, since you can find reproducible chest pain, and it seems to be more difficulty in breathing than than chest pain, it's probably not cardiac related chest pain. So it was a good nature. Yeah, it would have affected the patient. I mean, it could have would have probably helped bring the blood pressure down a little bit. I don't think it would have hurt them at all. The pain wouldn't have resolved the pain. The pain was probably right. It would have helped the pain, but it would have helped the blood pressure. Go ahead. Um. Suffer from what a lot of people suffer from is going into detective mode and trying to figure out what is wrong like, immediately before you get mm. go through all the steps. I'm guilty of it too. But um, when you get stumped like that, it's okay to just sit back and make sure you did your secondary assessment. Call medical control, let them know, or you just try to give them another treatment. Yeah. Much better than the first time. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, got anything over there in the corner? Yeah. Oh, yeah, part. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right. So, um, the only other thing too I want to add is to apply to all teams again after you do a treatment or if something changes in the patient's status, reassess. The reassessment starts with what? Primary primary right. I like general impression, but if you don't say general impression and you say primary assessment, that's fine too. Right? On a test, it'll be primary. But it in your head, you should think general impression, primary assessment. Um, so anytime something changes where somebody goes like his first scenario, I feel dizzy. All right, well, that's a change. All right, so let's reassess, you know, uh, airway. Is it open? Is the patient breathing, right? Because it was shortly after that she wasn't. Or anytime you give a medication, like he gave the albuterol atrovent on the first time. Okay, well, how has that affected my patient? What's the general impression? General impression, she anxious as all get out since you gave that. Oh, maybe I need to take it off then, right? Then I need to reevaluate that medication. If it's not, if it's not, Remember, we give medication like that to improve the quality of the patients, not to make it deteriorate. All right, so, so all that goes for everybody. Try to remember that. All right, good job. Uh, all in all, second time. I'm going to say good job on second time. A lot of improvement.
Was that personal and round? It was the same thing, but I'm 